final approach is an air traffic control simulator with a few twists. It's available for the HTC Vive and Oculus Rift for about $15 US. Here's my review of it in its current state as of May 2017. As usual we start with the story. You take the role of an air traffic controller, for lack of better words. As you gain more experience throughout the game you undertake more demanding assignments in a variety of locations and then you're defending the world against an alien invasion. Yeah, although the story really doesn't do much more than ground the gameplay, it still was a hell of a lot more than I'd expect from a game in this genre. I felt it lent a nice feeling of progression from one level to the next. As for characters, while you won't encounter any in the flesh, the game boasts an impressive amount of voice work, the variety and top-notch delivery of which gives the world a real sense of busyness and authenticity that I feel a lot of games fail to capture. Well, welcome to the airport, I guess. Everything works, long as I'm around to fix it. I think I've broken some rules about airspace, and I'm not sure how to get out of here. Power, I need to get down to the carrier. If you can help me land, I'd appreciate it. On to gameplay. The game has 17 story missions, two of which are quote coming soon. It also offers 5 challenge levels and an option to free play on any of the 4 maps. The game itself is essentially a multitasking simulator, and I don't necessarily mean that in a bad way. You'll find yourself juggling a range of jobs both at large scale and small. For example, landing planes, putting out fires, scaring birds off runways, sorting out baggage, shooting down flying saucers, executing bombing runs, and generally micromanaging air traffic. Something I loved about this game was how it managed to remain fun and interesting by constantly switching things up. The overall pacing is on point. All up, it took around four and a half hours for me to finish the existing story missions, which is a decent length for the price in my books. On to difficulty. I personally found the gameplay offered a good level of tension and challenge. This is a game where failure is usually a result of doing it wrong rather than doing it poorly, more akin to a puzzler than a first person shooter. That considered, I didn't find the lack of difficulty settings to be that big of a deal. Locomotion in this game is all natural, done exclusively by moving physically through your play space. No teleportation, smooth motion or anything of the sort. The game also caters for multiple play space sizes by offering an option to scale up and down the world. The graphics in this game are fantastic. They're consistent and retain their polish both on the large scale and small. My only nitpick, and it is a nitpick, is that the people on the ground look a bit off. But as a package, really well done. I suffered no performance issues on my 1070 and the loading times were short and sweet. As far as graphic settings go, the game offers options for both anti-aliasing and shadow quality. Time for the verdict. While Final Approach hasn't gone unnoticed since its release, I certainly think it's been largely underestimated and overlooked. This game is a breath of fresh air in a market that's been flooded by generic wave shooters and half hour experiences. My advice, don't let this one fly under your radar.